How are you going to miss that monstrosity of a world? Oh, well, I might have my glasses off or something. You're cooked. Going deep, I'm no, that was me. Yeah. God, tricky. Blind in one eye, can't see out of the other. <laughs> I'm just looking at your colour. What's wrong with my colour? That's good. It's good. Let's go slower. It looks good. Oh, I need a, a, I need a, Come I on. want a new one. This is hard work. I'm going to let you do this. I'll have a sore wrist by the end of it. Okay, just working on this tray. And um, by golly, it's. Um, I've just been trying to get this to pull in. You'll see, you see, it's a little bit of daylight through there. And it doesn't, oops, it does need to be welded. Now I can get the clamps on it, a lot of it. I'll film it this way. A lot of it and there's a bit of a big gap here it doesn't look like much on camera but it feels like a lot in real life maybe I'm being anally retentive or something I don't know but well let's have a look at the other side thing and the clamps are doing a good job there I must admit and um, here's that gap I'm talking about and it will pull in and this is that's right because this there's a you can't see or you can see there you see there's a step in there goes along and this comes out for the step so it's technically perfect it's the steps in exactly the right position he's you know it's all logical it's about five mil maybe it's a little more than it should be but in hindsight it probably almost oh no it sort of needs to be there and this will clamp in here and then that is not too bad so it's actually probably going to work all right i think with these um i think with this section here i've got where are they they're over here i think i'm going to refit these original ones and um number one all the the, the plug welds that we drilled out or the spot welds we drilled out Goes like that. I'll just see if I can get a better angle on this. It's hard to film and it goes in there like so. I also cut this back a little further and um, there's a piece that goes over the top there. It's about a 50 mil piece now. Put that there and, um, and it'll get welded along there and then plug welded all the way along there. So maybe a little bit of stitch welding, I think. They did in real life, I can't remember. So, and then that'll honky dory too. Okay, well, we'll show you the next bit of progress. Do you want to at least? I've got some content. You can okay. explain what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I had a little bit of a talk on my phone, so. Oh, uh, did you? Yep. Yeah. But nevertheless, um, I'm going to tell you, straight. this is a really difficult job to get it just perfect. So I've decided these are the original um, cover uh, sides of the tray, really. And I'm, I think I'm going to fit them and then join the tray into them. So it'll be a perfect fit in here. It's just like none of this sort of folding and stuff is in the original, in the new replacement part. So if you've got these, do not wreck them. Don't do anything with them. Just hang on to them until you're ready to um, fit. So that, that was the actually, you know, that's where the side thing screws on and that's where the tray goes. It's unfortunate because when we took it off, we didn't think we were going to use them again. So we've kind of just... No, no, these are just drilled out neatly. Yeah, it looks a bit. No, that's so fine. And um, no, no, both of them. What we did do is I lost one. Somehow it was a little tiny one at the front, and I somehow 
took it off and lost it, which was a bit of a shame. I didn't mean to lose it. I think it accidentally got thrown out with some other stuff and I think, but it's not the end of the world. It's only that long and it's not a biggie. The other thing I could do is literally like just cut these off and weld these on to the other piece, but I think we'll do it this way. Yeah. And, uh, and it makes it better because I can, I can do all this welding here with this, um, the inner, the inner, um, the inner panel. So it's all welded and seam sealed and all done, ready to rock and roll. So Josh, we're time lapsing, so you guys can still watch, and we're going to fit these. Then we're going to go back again. <laughs> So I think you mentioned in a video that you were gonna glue it down, but you've had a change of mind. I wasn't gonna glue it. Well, I was considering getting um, a two pack. You know, you can get a two pack thing of like when they put the roofs, roofs on modern cars. And that would be, it's as strong as welding. It's amazing stuff and um, it's structural. Let's put it that way. But oh, I don't know. I think I'm having a motivational crisis in that area. Um, and this fits so well, so I think we're just going to drill it and plug weld it and grind them off and just take our time so we don't warp it. And um, there's only every 50 mil, so Josh is welding, so it doesn't really matter. And if you come and look at our gaps, we managed to get our gaps pretty good now. And um, we've got to grind these welds off here. Here's a torch. Finally welds off, but that's fitting in now. And that's the original piece there, so it sort of matches in so much better. So that'll be welded along there, and the same with the top. And um, so it's a good thing too, because at the end of the day, this was 20 mil too narrow. And um, so, you know, it was, they sort of, I don't know how you get it in for 20 mil, but it just is. So it'll work beautifully. So my recommendation is never replace this. If you can possibly avoid it, repair it. Completely repair it. Even if you, you bought one and then cut it all the way around there and, you know, just was, because it is a bit of a mongrel job. And it'll be fantastic when it's done. Come and have a look at the other side. It looks prettier from the other side. It does. So this is this side, so it's such, so nice not to see a gaping big hole in the back of the ute. And um, so we've marked it along here and here, so we'll drill out the plug welds, not on this, but on the tray, because who wants to weld grind these things out? And um, the other thing is, um, you know, there's your, your lip along here, and you, we plug weld along in there. Um, it's all self, pretty well self-explanatory and you can see here so well, that's the original bit of floor and this is the new floor and we'll actually weld that just perfectly but weld that all the way along so it's just perfect like a seam sealer we've welded all that on so we'll cut it and weld it flush. so we'll cut it and weld it absolute flush so it's absolutely stinking perfect and um yeah it looks really good yeah I'm pretty happy with it. So once we, that's a big hurdle getting that in. And, uh, so it's going to look good. And then after that, of course, then we put the um, spare wheel box in. And um, that's a piece of cake. Bloody. That actually, believe it or not, gets plug welded to the tray as well. But I think I might actually stitch weld that underneath. So I don't want to drill any more holes through the tray than I really have to. In fact, I could even do the same here and stitch well that it's, it is very tempting to do it that way. It's just not the way 
Oh, I don't know. Now I'm really agonising over this. <laughs> I'll put a bit of stitch welding here. Like, and what I mean by stitch welding, I mean like... Like Michael did this. See, Michael just did a bit of stitch, stitch welding along there. And, um... It's... The good thing about that is it's... It's... Unless you've got a spot welder. I don't... I'm surprised Michael doesn't use a spot welder actually because it probably would have been easier. And, um, yeah. But that's that's called um, stitch welding. <clears throat> so whether I stitch weld a bit under the tray like that. Well, that might be a, like a less intrusive way to do it, wouldn't it? It will, and a lot less work because you don't have to grind anything. You just put a little zip, you know, every 50 mil, and it's done. Well, that's. 100% done. Then Is you'd... there any structural difference if we do it that way? We could also put goop underneath it too, all the way along. So we could sit it on goop. No, structurally we're about the same. Strength, probably so, stronger actually. So we could bind it in with goop, let the goop go off and then stitch weld it. Yeah, you'd really have to clamp it though. I'd probably consider getting a couple of lumps of wood here and some bloody big clamps and just clamp the thing together really tight. And leave it for a couple of days and then stitch weld it. But you wouldn't even need to do that. Once you've got a clamp, you can stitch weld it. That's all you need. It's not going to bother, um, it's not going to bother the goop. So that would be it. Very tempting. I've, I'm going to sleep on this decision because I'm not actually sure no, how I'll go with that. I've well, marked it out anyway. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, because that's an awful lot of holes to put through into a beautiful tray and grind off again. And doesn't matter what you do, you'll never get it perfect like it is now. I, um, personally, if you're going to make me weld this, mm. let's stitch it. <laughs> to these. Yeah. Well, it's just to get a better finish, won't we? We'll get a better finished result. Yeah. And that's something I really like. No grinding. Well, no grinding at all. Yeah. Oh, a little bit here. But you're still well out from underneath, so you'll almost know grinding here. Yeah, but we don't have to grind the top of the tray. That's about it, isn't it? No. We got sick of winding up by hand. Well, we welded it, and then I forgot, and I grabbed it and burnt my hand. That's... So now I'm mis miserable, because it burn hurts. Fill out there, draw some of these out, 50 or 60 mil apart, 50 mil will do. Yeah. Like one there, one there, yeah, one there, that'll do nicely. So they're going to be our only plug welds, the rest we're going to stitch in from underneath and here. We are. It works, makes a lot of sense to do that because at the end of the day, no grinding, just from the top, the the tray will look perfect, better than factory. So, yeah. as they say, better than OEM. Mm. So, anyway, piss off, let's get to work. <laughs> Get it because it had a bit of a gap like that, and maybe a little bit less than that. Anyway, we've had to crush it in and 
pull and shove and stretch and it's been a mission but anyway and on this here we couldn't we just welded it from the outside stitched it and, um, so yeah and the other side it's not such a big gap so it'll be easier on the other side so Josh is about to weld them and we'll see how we go This is uh, this is the back of the U. So we're uh, not seam welding that because by crazy there's no point and it'll just buckle and carry on. So we put them every 50 mil apart. I have a hunch that would um, you can't see diddly squicking. Anyway, you can see that. And what we've done is which I ended up cutting, I don't know if I showed it or not, there's a lip like that, and obviously and I cut it off flush. This one slides over the top. Rewelded now technically should be seam welded but it is a futile thing to do and, um, I'll run seams clean that run seams hot seam sealer along it and it'll be honky dory and better than better than OEM I put seam sealer in here already uh, because when we grind it I want crap falling down there metal so that's waiting for that to go off and um, what else, Josh? We're going to seal up, weld up these bits here. Yeah, yeah, you can weld them up right now. We've, we've um, spot welded it here, or tack welded it, I should say, and we will seam, sell, seam weld that for um, all the way. And, um, and um, oh, this here gets a 50 mil or 40 mil plate over the top of it, which will go all the way into the corner there. So it'll make it all look beautiful. And uh, this has actually turned out better than I was expecting. I was better than I was expecting because the tray was a little bit um, top small. You know, could have done with an extra 15, 20 mil wider. And um, pulled out. But we just we massaged it and massaged it until it's really nice. And um, it's amazing where you can find a bit here and there. And, Stretch a little bit, pull the target, it all comes good. What are you doing? I'm marking these so I don't miss any. Because I, I figure, you know, I might miss one and that's going to be a real problem. So I just mark around each one and then we don't, can't miss them. I'm so confused. I'm not sure if you're taking the mickey. Or you're actually being serious right no, now? Mate, no, 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 I'm serious. <laughs> it's legit. Yeah. What are you doing? I <laughs> told you. I'm marking so we are don't you, miss any. Are you that bloody blind? <laughs> oh, you know, I sell. Well, I just thought... Are you serious? A bit of dimension. Isn't that better? Are you serious? Are you going to grind these for me, or do I have to do it? I'm not grinding it. I okay. put metal on, not now, take it well, away. I'll, I'll know. No, it's... legit. <laughs> why did you do that? What are you talking about? What? What? For what good reason? Just so that we didn't miss any. How are you going to miss that monstrosity of a world? Oh, well, I might have... My glasses off or something. You're cooked. Yeah, <laughs> no, I honestly don't know if you're being serious or not. We'll leave it up to the people in the comments.
Normally they get cut off here, but uh, I'm going all the way because it just looks so much better. And um, that's exactly what we're doing. Not too hot? You all good? Yeah. You happy with everything? It's just perfect. When we grind that down, that'll look a million bucks. Not grinding it down today, tomorrow. It's the big grind down. Hmm. I might take tomorrow off, go to the beach. <laughs> While I'm grinding, yeah. yeah. I won't take all day to grind. Yeah, it won't take all day to go to the beach either. <laughs> yes, it would. Oh, that's so pleasing. It's so pleasing to have that back. And that's it, just needs a bit of grinding and it's it's done, finito, finished. Yeah, two thirds of it. What do you mean two thirds? Oh, that's 90%. The two corners will be easy. Yeah. Because number one, they're only plug welded at the back and uh, they're actually only plug welded at the front. So it's just a question of getting them, cutting them in, having them fit, plug welded. The hardest bit is doing around the wheel tub. And, um, and essentially, I will probably literally retrofit them. I'll fit the, the panels in so they're perfect. So I think I'll fit the panel in and then I'll actually um, fit the wheel top bit in. And then we'll drill the wheel top from the inside and then plug weld it along here. Du -du 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 -du, and then it's done. Like what? Like da -da 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 -da. That's it. Schmuck. All right, I'm hungry. I'm gonna call it. Say bye. Ah, oh, it gives we we're gonna run out of jobs to do on this thing soon. Well, we won't know what to do with ourselves. We'll have to go onto a new project, Josh. Hmm. Don't you agree? My goal is to see this one through. See it through to yellow. Hmm. I don't know, I think, um... I think everyone's comments about all the colours mm. has just made it more complicated for you to, to decide. Yeah, I know, I, I, can't, I can't decide now. I mean, <laughs> I've had everything from green to... I, I red. think... It's mm. almost... Uh, it, 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 I'll almost go back to the original colour. <laughs> Like which it, which is gold, by the way. Oh no, bronze. It's something bronze. Josh will show you. It's vomit. That's what it is. Vomit bronze. No, it's 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 it's. I don't know what to call this car, but just from a distance, it just looks like brown to me. So that's it. Yeah, that's the original colour there. And it's just brown. I mean, it, you polish it up, and it comes up reasonable, and then. So we could do that colour to anybody who really likes that, but it's going to take me, take, you're going to have to do a lot of convincing if you want me to paint it this colour. That's to give you some really good reasons why, like the thing will have to be worth like 10 grand more or something. Alright, I'm going to call it. Alright. Adios. Up close this colour looks alright. <laughs> What? <laughs>
<laughs> Bye.